yeah, we're actually going to go into the next series, which is going to be uh, me against Rage. Um, starting out on Destination. So, I think Rage played Terran in these series, I'm pretty sure. And um, Harem saying in uh, chat before that he's a, a C plus writer. So, I'm going to do my. I mean, it's, it's tough casting your own games, but I'm going to do my best to be like an impartial, not knowing the results observer, even though I am completely. Obviously not impartial in this. Yeah, you know, want myself to win. But anyway, whatever. Anyway, we'll just get started. Yep. Cool. Yep. No. All means. Alrighties. So yeah, game one of Keante against Rage. Me. I don't know. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. You know. Okay. Rage is the red Terran at the twelve o'clock, and Keante is the purple Protoss at the six. The map is Destination, I believe. Yep. And um, yeah, for those of you who don't know yet, we're really hoping Chianti wins at least one of these games, just for the sake of saving face while he's streaming. Oh, yeah. well, there, it kicks it out already. <laughs> so it starts out with a BM, but I mean, it's it's a pretty common sort of BM to people to actually just abuse Australia. Because I was playing a game of Dota this morning, and uh, and I talked on the like the voice chat, and someone was like, fuck you, you're not American, and I'm like... Yeah. He's like, do you ride a kangaroo or something? Fuck you. And I'm like, whoa. It was like, really, just like, he was just abusive. And then he started feeding on purpose. Because he wanted me to lose. It was really kind of weird. But anyway. Whatever. So, um, everything looking pretty standard so far. Uh, Rage just walling off. This is like another thing that I just can't do at all. Like, I can't wall for shit on Destination. I can't wall on this map either. Is this, is this how you wall? I it's a, yeah, I think this is exactly the right way to wall. I actually I, I looked up mistaken. I looked up Lick Liquipedia uh, a couple of weeks ago when I was like, hmm, I wonder how you wall with Terran. And it's like there's different walls which are like Ling tight and Zealot tight, and I can't remember the fuck whichever one was which. So my knowledge is gone. But I'm pretty sure I've this been is giving right. oh, I've okay. been giving yeah, a works. lot of I've been giving an awful lot of thought to how difficult it is to wall on certain maps, and I think that it took me far too long to come to the conclusion, but at exactly the point when I decided to go back and play a lot more Brood War, I'm just going to play Zerg. You realize Zerg walling just is like it. the hardest, right? Exactly, you have an excuse to fail. No, but like you die the hardest when you fail. Oh, well, like, I'm going to lose regardless. <laughs> like, we don't need to worry about that. I'd say like the... like like. The most of the uh, PVZs that I play, uh, if the like Zerg is shitty at walling, I just get a free win because the majority of the time I just make a bunch of zealots and go, and they like don't have a sh they don't have a good like Sim City and they just die. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going core, uh, skipping any zealot pressure or anything like that, just assuming the wall, which is there, so yeah. And gas up for rage. Probably going to be some sort of maybe FD or siege expand. The thing is, I actually can't remember what happened in this game. So I'll probably like like it'll like it'll like ple like I'll like think about it like during the game. Like something will happen. I'll be like, oh, it was this game? But actually, right now it's I do like actually that you all got a few hits on the SUV. You took a probe off gas for some reason. Yeah, that's on purpose. I'm doing. Oh, okay. I'm doing the. Uh, this is the two gate. No range. Oh, two gate range. No goon expand. Oh. Um, cool. And you take one probe of gas after you start the range because you don't need that much gas before you this take. Build is retarded. I've never seen this build in my it's, life. I I stole it off. <laughs> I stole it off Bisu of all people. Uh, it was created by I Love Oof for Bisu. So it's some some meta game. Uh, pretty much. Uh, basically, what it does is uh, an FD uh, will come out. And you actually get more goons at a better timing against an FD with this build than you do with the one gate expand. Okay, you got lucky and Rage did the absolute worst build against yours. Well, actually, I mean, Siege, Siege Expo against this is okay. Um, wait, is it? Yeah, it looks like a Siege Expo. Um, I wouldn't say lucky. I mean, it, it's designed... The only <laughs> way... Like, I die to, like, BBS and shit like that if I don't scout it. And, but, but doesn't it, that just die to a good two-fact? Well, it dies in the same way that a one gate expand does, so... I mean, essentially what I'm doing is just saying, well, 
I could one get expand, or I could do this and be slightly better off economically and goon wise. So that's mm. what I do. I mean, it's, with a one get expand, I mean you can hold two fac. A good two fac will will beat me because I'm awful at micro and goons. But yeah, I mean I see what you're saying. But I mean to 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 say that you're safe against a two fac, you pretty much have to go like two get obs or at least two get before expanding. Um, but I just I like being a, a greedy, a greedy noob, pretty much. <laughs> Got no excuses. I have to say, compared to the way we saw Terrans play last week, Rage is playing immaculately. Like, who were the Terrans last so, week? What Mizu? Uh, Mizu. Um, Mizu. Oh, Recruit, you played you played Terran against Mizu. Yes, I did. He he actually said, "Did you uh did he request that you played Terran?" Was that it? I told him. I told him. Tell me what your best matchup is. Let's play it. And he said, "TVT." Seriously? Wow. That's that's that is so bizarre. Kind of refreshingly pleasant. A Terran actually choosing TVT, and then accusing you of going in the back door. Did you laugh when that happened? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> so yeah, siege is done here, yeah. and my goons are about to get raped. I think. Yeah, it certainly yeah. looks that way. Just a little bit. That was pretty sloppy by me, not actually moving my goons anyway. My goons just kind of sat out there ineffectually doing literally nothing, and then they just kind of died, so I don't quite know. You do what have the your expansion up earlier, though. That's nice. I mean, you've got that. Well, I mean, in uh, in PvT, you kind of have to. You have to have it, yeah. yeah. If you don't, you really need to like have a Reaver in their base, kind of making up for the, the loss in the mining time. But yeah, I'm sneaking out a retardedly early third here. Off like five goons because uh, I just, I don't know, I was just like, again, just blind making assumptions. Like, if uh, Rage had decided to go for like a three fact here, like a really quick sort of three fact push, I think I'd, I would just be dead. I'd just be completely dead. Um, that's actually happened to me before. I played uh, a grudge match against a guy called Puppy Killer, and the first game oh I, I did this same thing where I just like took a stupidly early third. And and I just died to a three fact, and it was really depressing. I don't know why your goons aren't in front of his uh, in front of his ramp. It's because I'm, uh, I'm scared. I'm like really scared in in PVT that I'm about to get dropped or whatever, and so I like having my goons kind of like closer to my base. It's just me being stupid, pretty much. Um, I don't understand Russian how many grudge matches to play. I think a few. <laughs> I mean. Like, you just keep on kicking it out. Oh, I play, I play the grudge match against this guy. I made this mistake also in a grudge match. Like, it's just... I haven't heard anyone else who's been in a best of nine grudge match, and you've just described two of them. Well, I mean, the other one was a best of five. But anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm basically not making any units and just building my my uh, infrastructure and economy here. So basically just, again, being a greedy noob. I think I finally, yeah, got an OBS to Rage's base, and I think I'm just about to see the fact that he's doing a five fac. So basically, he's being a cheesy, a cheesy motherfucker. Well, he's just playing pretty well, actually. He's macroing well. Yeah, he is. Oh yeah. His money is so low Whoa, the entire yeah, time. Oh shit! Like under fifty the whole time. All right. But yeah, he's doing a, a five fact, so he's going to be like coming at me pretty soon with a a tank vulture sort of push, and I have like no units. <laughs> like so you moved out I'm with five. I'm kind units. of scared right now. I've actually completely stopped pro production. Um, I have my third going, but it's barely mining. Um, basically, I'm I'm all in on the arbiters at this point. I think because I think without arbiters, I'm not going to have like enough units to actually deal with with anything that Rage just has coming right now. I'm kind of yeah, curious. Rage he has just no cuts combat. SUVs. If he just cuts SUVs and just pumps on the units. He should kill you. Yeah, I <laughs> five goons. Oh my god. Would he <laughs> need to cut SUVs? He has like nearly twice as many tanks as you have goons. Yeah, so yeah, that was, he saw my obs, <laughs> and um, yeah, a little bit of uh, friendly banter there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so here it comes. <laughs> he has more tanks than I have goons right now, which is not a... Oh wait, no, no, I got a few more. That's fine. Cool, I think I outnumber his tanks now, but there's still a shitload of stuff coming. This is a, a pretty... No, I, mean, I have faith in you, you've got this. I totally got this. No worries. No. <laughs> 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 the only the only saving grace is coming is I have an arbiter which is about one third done, and um, 
it's going to be interesting to see if I can actually kind of hold this off. Yeah, so I'm trying to just like stall the push, basically. Uh, but it's kind of tough when you're so outnumbered by everything. Oh my god, you're keeping like your money. What's that? Just oh, you're god. keeping your money quite low for a while there, and then all of a sudden it fell apart. I was about to comment on how good your macro was, but you haven't oh, spent money no, since no, I started no. talking. So yeah, my goons got caught out here, and... Okay, so Keontae's dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it looks that way, alright. So the question is, after making fun of everyone else's PG timing, does he know when to, and I quote, get out the game? I don't know. Well, Rage, Rage doesn't have scanner yet. Oh, he's making one now. But uh, he might just die to the Arbiter, actually. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be tough. He's actually going towards uh, my back door here. Uh, I think he was trying to siege up the third, but I've actually taken the third on the other side of the map. That's my own personal preference on this map. I actually really hate that third on the left, just because it's so open and easy to push. Um, and I actually it's, finally I have speed ramp, done. Man. Speed on the Zealots. There's a couple of mines right under the tanks there. Oh, big drag. Yes, that is beautiful. And the Arbiter's out too. The yeah, the Arbiter scan goes down. Once his other scan is out, he has nothing to deal with it. He's not making turrets yeah. or anything. Oh, the second scan's gone too. But I kind of am left with no army, but the thing is, with the Arbiter out, it's given me this opportunity to kind of not die, which is always nice. I love the the foresight to throw down that turret straight away is excellent. I mean, he lost it, but <laughs> I still love the quick thinking <laughs> behind it, because, well, like... I know that I know so many players who would just be like, "All right, fuck it, go home, do whatever you can." But not only did he try to throw down a turret, as soon as it died, he started throwing down a second turret, which also died instantly. But you know, like the effort was there. I like that. And now rage has fallen apart with two thousand minerals. So that was my oh, uh, my, my my retort to his uh, high obs. Rage claiming that he miss hotkeyed scan. All right. He doesn't have any scans left. Oh, he has one. <laughs> like the hotkeys. <laughs> Stacked. But yeah, I mean, I, I kind of, I was pretty greedy in this game. What um, did you do? How are you in this good shape after that? That Arbiters, is fantastic. Man. Well, the thing is, I, I literally forsook any sort of actual army, getting a huge oh, stasis wow. there. Um, it's, so he, he just used his only scan. That stasis is beautiful. But I kind of might be getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Um, oh no, he has, he has one scan left as well. Well, not only that, but uh, he has a turret behind there as well, so I can't really close on that back tank. Ah. And I mean, tanks are pretty good against like just pure goon, which is hilariously a situation I find myself in a lot. For some reason, is that I like just end up with with no with no zealots. It's pretty bad. I love that both of your macro just fell apart Terrible. completely. <laughs> like it's horrific. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I'm aware. Um, it's good though, because you would have just been spending that money on goons, and you said to yourself, goons aren't working, so like, your bad macro could be your saving grace. Exactly, see, now I'm going to spend the money on more, like, good things, maybe. Maybe I'll make units... It's kind of sad when you, like, look at your gateways and they're just not making anything. It's, <laughs> it's like, oh... You're a derelict bitch. Great. <laughs> look at this, look at this, yeah, all my so gateways, gateways are not doing anything. Not doing anything. Oh, Jesus so Christ. Drastic. Please make something. Please make something. Please. Oh my god. So I actually don't know if I have a uh, recall or not. I'm pretty sure I don't. Um, You're so researching it now. It. Oh yeah? Aha, yeah. I was going to say, I probably should have got that earlier, but... Because there's no way to break over the bridges on uh, on Destination. And something which is uh, kind of tricky about like five hacks like this is that when you beat the first push as a Protoss, you feel pretty good. And uh, you don't realize that it's actually going to be a like retarded secondary push coming up that you're not really ready for. If your opponent macros. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, he's kind of he's spent most of his gas now. Look, I I spent like all my money on zealots, <laughs> and I'm yeah, floating I'm like 1.8k gas. This is another thing I do in uh, in PVT. I actually <laughs> float gas all the time, but now I'm just like taking X-rays, and I'm actually killing a critter on the right hand side. Oh. You actually don't get a kill count for critters. That's that is ridiculous. Critters are people too. Yeah. Anyway, uh, oh, rage wow, moving the, out here. The mind drags again. I say mind drags. What I mean is, 
he's putting his vultures on top of his own mines while your zealots run into them. It's like a mine drag, only it's much more like a vulture drag. Yeah. Oh, that's stasis. I mean, it didn't get anything useful, really, but still, oh, the second one was much better. Yeah, but now my Arbiters are just gonna die. I'm glad you researched Recall. Oh, yeah, because I totally used it just so effectively <laughs> in this game, obviously. My god, but, the mines. Uh, he just loves... Vultures love mines, man. Oh, yeah. But so... D oh, my god. Yeah, despite... Uh, my absolute greediness, I managed to get away with it, just. I can't um, believe that that was fantastic. You, yeah. great. I came in prepared to watch you lose, absolutely. He didn't know when I'd get out of the game. <laughs> no, I was hoping you'd get out of the game any minute now. Alright, so, uh, yeah.